going on guys the moment you've been waiting for uh is fatal reaper here today bringing you a video we're in the hp pavilion gaming laptop be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always real quick we are on here on god of war yes the game is coming and just give just a moment of your time here just want to talk about the pc specs for god of war as you can see recommended is with a um nvidia 1060 uh high settings would be a 1070 2070 would obviously be good performance and of course ultra you'd want a 3080 i like to uh, do all this to basically uh show you guys you know if you have any questions about can a game run on this hp pavilion all you gotta do is look up the specs and you can just google it and it will pretty much appear like a screen like this for god of war or other games like that and you can go ahead and look at that for yourself so let's go ahead and get into this video guys we are on the hp pavilion gaming laptop we do have 16 gigs of ram in this build so that is a disclaimer most of your builds that you get by uh, default will come with 8 gigs of ram do make sure you get an upgrade or at least make sure you have the 16 gigs of ram we are doing god of war right now and i do believe i'm on either original i believe Leave. let's go ahead and settings I am on low settings so I do a low settings test in this video um, a high settings or original it's called which is basically normal settings and a ultra settings test in the low settings we got anywhere from about 40 to close to 60 FPS which is actually more than what I was thinking I was thinking the game would have issues running uh, I did do the settings all the way through this is a very long video so it I do uh, um, bear Bear with me here with the video. It is very long, and if you do not want spoilers for the story, do click away. This I do have some of the cutscenes that play. Um, so, but I try to just jump right into the game and get a good uh, kind of a good a good test for you guys. Like I said, we do have low settings here, uh, medium settings, which is original settings or high. Let's go ahead and talk about high settings. So high settings is what I switch it to here in a moment. On high settings, I got about the same 40 to 50 FPS is where it dropped to on um, original settings, I think it's called, or your normal settings is basically about the same 40 to 50 FPS. It doesn't really change. Um, and then, of course, on low settings, you get the highest amount of FPS, which is close to 60 and then on ultra settings, you can play it on ultra settings. I do bear in mind there was a bit of lag. And as you can see here, I'm switching to high settings. Um, there was a bit of lag with ultra settings. I did get a bit of shutters and stutters um, for it and everything like that. So I would not recommend playing on ultra settings. It's probably not going to handle, which is to be expected. It doesn't have the capabilities technically to play on ultra settings or really high settings like we are here. You're getting about 30 to 40 FPS. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't shutter anything. So on high settings, it doesn't shutter. You don't have any issues. So you could play it on high settings. Um, the FPS is not something I really look at. I know a lot of you and a lot of people look at, oh, the FPS, what are you getting for FPS? I don't look at it more towards FPS. I look at, is, is the game running correctly? So what I would recommend the best settings on this game, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys the best settings to run here on God of War on the HP Pavilion. It's going to be original settings is what it's called. So original or low settings. I do say original because original can handle and it looks really good and decent. So I would go ahead and put your settings on original settings for graphics and you're going to have no issues. Game played, and that's what I'm looking for when I do these tests for you guys. And I play longer than after, I play a little bit longer after I record. And do bear in mind I am recording so we are probably getting a little bit of frame drop there in the recording obviously. Because um, recording does reduce your frames by a little bit. Now, be, that, bear that in mind, uh, you know, like I said, guys, the game, what I really look for when I do these tests for you guys is how well the game performs. I have to say, I was blown away, and I mean, you know, the HP Pavilion is a great laptop, but it is an old laptop. It is getting older, unless you're getting new variants of the HP Pavilion, you're going for, you know, the newest one this year that came out, etc. like that. And here on Ultra, I tried on Ultra, and I do get kind of a bit of lag, and you can actually see that here in the video. It does kind of almost lag in a sense, so if you wanted to play Ultra, you could give it a go but it's probably going to lag a little bit, so I would not, and obviously that's to be expected, it obviously can't, you know, handle those, it doesn't have uh, the graphics capability, the graphics card doesn't have the capabilities to handle that. However, you can play on high settings, and original settings is what I, you know, basically would uh, recommend doing. But like I said, guys, I go for in these tests to see, you know, how well does it actually hold up, and I was blown away of how well it looks on the laptop and I mean the laptop just has a 60 hertz monitor at least mine does the one I have I all this stuff is factory by the way this is just came straight out of the box the only thing changed is I put 16 gigs of RAM into the build that's it 16 that's it all the rest of this came straight out of the box and I was just blown away of how well it actually played 
I mean, it just looked phenomenal too on the screen. And even though it's a 60 hertz, you know, monitor, and we were only getting about 50, you know, 50 FPS was pretty much the max, or 50 to 60. It was just insane. And the original settings is right here. What I was talking about, guys, is where you want to play it on. It's going to be the best. I would probably just turn VSync on um, for the most part. Um, I think the frames draw a jump here in a second. Yeah, we're we getting the frames jump a little bit. Uh, they were about 45 to 50 here on original settings. Um, it kind of fluctuates. Again, I am recording, so that is kind of messing with it a little bit. But that being said, guys, I mean, it just it looks so good. I was blown away with how actually well it looked and, and how well it played. I mean, it, I didn't, obviously, on original settings and low settings and even high settings, I got no shutters, no frame drop. It just played smoothly. And I played for a solid probably 30 minutes to an hour. I do have fi about 15 minutes worth of footage here I'm going to let you play. I am going to render this whole video just in case people want to see it. Obviously, this is some, some gameplay. And, again, this is on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Hardware down below. Again, everything, a, a GTX 1650, the only thing, uh, and an i5-9300, I do have the Intel version, very important, I don't have the Ryzen version, this is the Intel version, and that being said, guys, again, it just played so flawlessly to me on the God of War here, it just, in God of War is a very demanding game, it's a pretty big game as far as graphics and stuff go like that, and a lot of people, you know, this is, this is a great game, I love playing it, probably gonna stream it later this week, if you guys wanna check that out, I'll be on Twitch. That being said, guys, again, I mean, there's just nothing more to say other than another game in the bag that the laptop can handle and play. And again, I was blown away with how well it played because I was actually worried. I was like, ah, this game's going to crash. I'm going to have some issues of it crashing or shuddering too bad. But it's not. It played flawlessly with no issues. So another game the laptop has no issues handling and God of War being a big game on graphics and everything like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video I, as much as I did. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed, you know, doing, uh, playing it on the laptop and stuff. It was just, I was blown away at how well it looked. Again, guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave me some comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them, help in any way I can. But again, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. We've got plenty more coming for this 2022 here. I'm going to be streaming even more. I'm going to be streaming on the laptop too to the weeks. I'll probably be streaming on YouTube and Twitch. I can multi-stream now. So I'll be streaming on YouTube and Twitch if you guys want to check that out. Uh, feel free to stop by and I'll answer any questions during the streams you got. So if you want to, you know, even if it's not related, if I'm playing some rebirth like I normally have been, definitely let me know, you know, ask me a question. I'll be happy to answer while I'm streaming. Again, guys, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Something's got to open that gate. it in place. Clever. Um, you didn't mean to do that, did you?
So nice. Father, look. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Steady your aim and breathe in. Exhale and release. I got it! Good. It's... It's still alive. No, finish what you started. I can't. Boy, boy, look at me. We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? 
I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. <laughs> do not speak again. <laughs> 